And now to working in extreme heat. Employees at one local restaurant say the air conditioning at their job has been out for more than a month. So today they walked out. KPRC2 reporter Brandon Walker live in Pearland with that story tonight. Brandon. And Kristen, you can see we're in the midst of a bit of a summer rain to cool some things off, but you can take a look at the parking lot here. It's all empty because of this scorcher of a Wednesday. It's baking outside, and on the other side of those windows there, it's baking too. We've lost customers. Um, we've lost money we're because of it. Wednesday, time stamp noon. Hooters Pearland on 288. It's been absolutely miserable. Miserably hot, say these employees who today no longer could take the heat in the kitchen. We've been a month and maybe a week without AC, and today we decided as a group we weren't going to tolerate it. Um, we demand AC, so we walked out. Not long after they did, management closed the dining room, taking curbside orders only. Employees say they spoke with management before the exodus. All the while, they say they were told a fix was coming coming at some point. To keep cool, we go into the ice cooler. That way we can stay cool throughout our shift instead of just staying miserably hot out in the front so people can see us. Customers, that is, like Kathy Irwin and Joe Crabtree. In this heat outside, why should it be this hot inside? Or hotter if you work in the kitchen like Angelina. Knowing that we just had to close everything down because they haven't fixed AC, it's messing with our hours. A van from an AC repair company was on site this afternoon, but a manager would not confirm whether a fix was underway. It's important to make this stance because? Because we are women, all of us together. We work, we serve people. We need to be treated like we're more than just servers. Carly Pace there saying that she's paying for herself to get through college. She's got her bills to pay, but the principle is what this is all about because after her one month and one week of no AC, she thinks that the company needs to do something. Management wouldn't offer any comment here. We did reach out to corporate, though we're still waiting to hear back from them. We're live in Pearland. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News. Thank you, Brandon. Still developing.